Sukshma Vaswani. Now, the shipping industry is gearing up for some major changes next year. A new regulation which comes into effect from the 1st of January will attempt to substantially reduce the amount of harmful sulphur oxide emissions produced by the industry. Currently, it counts for about third, uh, sorry, 3% of total global emissions. Well, to talk us through what's at stake, I'm joined by Isabel Rojan, who's a principal consultant at the commercial advisory service UMass. Hello and welcome to World Business Report. Uh, just tell us a little bit more about these changes that take effect from tomorrow and what it means for the industry. Sure. So the International Maritime Organization, which is the UN body responsible for regulating the shipping industry, is going to um, limit the sulfur content in fuels used on board ships. Currently the limit is 3.5% and from tomorrow, to, from tomorrow onwards it's going to be 0.5%. And so that's a significant cut and as you mentioned these emissions are really harmful and can harm human health and the environment. So this new regulation is going to really benefit both um, the global environment but also the human health. And it's especially important for populations living in port cities and close to busy shipping routes. Or is the industry ready for this? I mean, this kicks in tomorrow, doesn't it? Yeah, so the industry has been really concerned about the availability of, of um, compliant um, fuel oil. But uh, fuel oil majors have assured the industry that there is going to be sufficiently available um, at a global level, what could possibly happen is that there might be some uh, local shortages at, for example, smaller ports, but that's something that can be uh, dealt with. Um, another point to mention is around the cost. So these um, low sulfur fuels are going to be more expensive than high sulfur fuels. Um, so the shipping industry is readying itself to, to um, deal with these higher fuel expenditures. And with the shipping industry excluded from the Paris Agreement, how important is it that it, that, that it seen to be doing its bit to help with climate change? It's very important. So the shipping industry is responsible for 2 to 3% of global emissions, and that is huge. Um, if the shipping industry was a country, it would be the sixth largest emitter in the world, surpassing the emissions of uh, Germany, for example. And last year, in 2018, the International Maritime Organization has put in place climate targets for the industry to cut emissions by at least 50% by 2050. Now that's not enough to be aligned with the Paris Agreement goal of 1.5 but it has sent a very important signal to the industry to move away from fossil fuels. And in terms of new technology on the horizon what is out there to, to help the industry because you know for them to make such significant change they have to invest a lot don't they? Yeah, I mean, the good news is that the shipping industry can already do a lot today. There's a lot of untapped potential in terms of increasing energy efficiency. They can go slower, they can use energy efficiency technologies such as sails, for example. But ultimately what we need is, a, is an energy transition away from fossil fuels. Um, so we're seeing in the car industry, for example, they're already undergoing this transformation. But in shipping, it's a little bit more complicated because most ships, you can't simply electrify them to use batteries on board. So uh, shipping will need to rely on the hydrogen economy to, to provide liquid and energy dense fuels. And we're currently working with a lot of companies who are really racing to be part of this exciting development over the next decade. Are you confident that the industry will be able to meet the targets that we're sort of setting in place for sort of 2050, that kind of thing? Yes, I am. Um, the technologies are there. I think the political will is there. Um, and I think they also need to increase. So um, yes, it's all possible and I'm confident. Isabel, it's been great to have you on the programme. Thanks for coming in. Isabel Rojan there from UMA.